Hi everyone, I am Mary Philip from GirlMostech.com and today I am going to show you how you can track the visitors that are coming to your blog from Facebook groups. You might wonder why you would take the time to track this, but it's really useful because you can stop wasting time on Facebook groups that are not working for your blog or your niche and you are able to know where you can focus your promotion. So for how it works, you will need to add UTM parameters to the link of your blog post. This is an example of what I do for my interview with Clio. So as you can see, we had UTM source parameter, UTM medium and UTM campaign. In my blog post, you can see the whole description of what each parameter does. But for the source, we are going to use Facebook. For the medium, we are going to use social, as this is, as Facebook is a social media. And for the campaign name, we are going to write the name of the Facebook groups. So at that point, you might tell yourself that adding these parameters to all your blog post links is a lot of work. But actually, it isn't, because I created a Google Sheet that will do all of the work for you and all you have to do is paste the, the link of your blog post. So if you want to download the Google Sheet, you just have to go to my blog, which the link is in the description down below. Okay, so I have already a tab open in my Chrome browser that's open with the Google Sheet. So here we go. The document is in view only, so what you need to do is you need to click on file, then make a copy, and write the name of the, the sheet you want to, to do. So I'm going to write it promotion Facebook groups, I don't know, and the folder will be my drive by default. And when you click on OK, a new tab is going to open and it's a, it's a new document that you can now edit. So for the first time you are going to edit the document, it's going to be a little bit longer because what you need to do is you need to write all the names of the Facebook group you are a member in the column B. So uh, that's, that's the, just the, for the first time, next time it's going to be way easier and faster. So what I want you to do now is write in the column B2 and 3 before etc. all the Facebook, all the name of the Facebook group you are a member. So let's say I'm a member of uh, the, f the, four, the first five Facebook groups. So this is going to until the sixth row. So I'm going to delete the rest of them. So now that we only have the first five Facebook groups, go to your blog. So mine is girlnostech.com and go on the, on the blog post you want to publish. So let's say mine is my post on how I got 15,000 followers on Instagram. So copy the URL of the post, go to the Google Sheet, go to the, the cell A2 and paste the URL you just copied. Now take your mouse and slide the mouse until for all the, the Facebook groups you have. And here for the promotion text, what I do is that I usually write a little introduction that I can copy and paste on all my Facebook groups. As you can see there's a little text here in green and after that there's a link that's automatically added in the cell. So what you need to do is erase the last promotion text and write a new one. So my new blog post is on Instagram. So I will write something like, do you want to get new followers on Instagram? Follow, follow my tips. And I have no idea, I'm, I'm just writing anything. Follow my tips, that's it. And then you can press enter and again 
click on the cell and repeat the cell value for all the other Facebook groups you are a member. So here you go, you have entered the file for the first time. And now let's say we need to edit for a second blog post. So what you need to do is select all the, the cells and the row for your for one blog post. Do a, a right click and click on copy. Then select this cell and do paste. So what you're doing is just repeating the, the same values for all your Facebook group for a new blog post. I am going to change the background color just to be able to see the difference between the, the two of them are different blog posts. So now you can go back to your blog. I'm going to find another blog post I need to promote. So let's take my interview with Jessly. Then again, you just have to copy the URL, go back to your Google Sheet, paste it in the first cell, copy the value of the URL, and write an introduction text for your promotion. So, hi, let's um, read my interview with Jess Lee, an entrepreneur for the practical dev, anything. So let's repeat this value. And here we go. Just in two seconds, you have another blog post that is ready to promote on Facebook groups. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to show you um, how you can use this promotion text to promote on Facebook groups. Okay, so now we are going to go to Facebook. Let's choose a group that's in my list. So I will choose Blogging Network because that's a group where we can promote on any day. So I, I can show you. Okay, so what you need to do when you want to promote is just select the, the row where the group is and copy this value here. Go back on Facebook and you just have to paste it here. Okay, so now what I usually do is I just remove the link because it's ugly to keep it. And uh, you just have to post the publication. So as you can see, no one can know that you are using UTM parameters to your link because it's really hidden. I can also show you if you write it as a comment, because on, on some Facebook groups you need to write the promotion in a comment. If I were to send it, it doesn't show like, that your link is different than usual, so everything is not shown and you don't have any trouble to use this method. So now, every time someone will click on your link from the Facebook groups, um, it will be tracked in Google Analytics. So now what we are going to do is I'm going to show you how it works on Google Analytics and how you can see the results. So let's go back to Google Analytics. It's in my tab here. So we need to go in Acquisition, Campaign, All Campaign, and then here we have the names of all the Facebook groups I'm a member of. Not all of them, but the one that works the best for me. So as you can see, Boost Your Blog is really a good one for me. Blogging Network too, it's the one I just showed you. Afterwards, it just goes down and down. We can also see what is the destination page of the visitors. So what you need to do is click on Secondary Dimension. Go to Behavior and then Destination Page. So as you can see, we can see exactly where the visitors went. We can see that for Booster Blog, my blog post about how I got 15,000 followers on Instagram was very popular. Same thing for Blogging Network. And um, yeah, Booster Blog was really popular for my blog post on what to do after you created a blog, etc. So you get what I'm talking about. 
And now we're done, so I hope this tutorial helped you to understand clearly what needs to be done if you want to track your results from Facebook groups. And if you have any question, don't hesitate to write a comment in the blog post, so that way everyone can benefit from it and we can share the knowledge. Thank you for listening and don't forget to look at the description box if you want more information.